Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazonary here, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my entire jewelry collection. I've been collecting jewelry since I was about 15 years old when I bought my first gold rope chain, and ever since then, I've been upgrading, buying new pieces, and I think it's time I show you guys all the new jewelry we've been copying over the last couple videos. We really have been going crazy, and I think it's time, like I said, we put a cap on top of the bottle, and we call it a jewelry collection, and we won't talk about some jewelry for maybe a couple months, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go out with a bang, so leave a like on this video if you guys are excited. I've got a little giveaway for you guys in this video to show you my appreciation. We're gonna give away this Supreme iPhone case. All you gotta do is leave a like, drop a comment down below on what your favorite piece is, and make sure you subscribe. We'll talk about this again at the end. So let's start, I'll clear my display off in front of me because there's a lot of things to talk about in this episode. And I guess we'll start off with the watch box. This is a very special, important gift to me. My dad actually got this for me. It was a couple years ago, and the reason why he got it was because I got a Rolex for him. And so I got myself a matching one. And he said to me, yo, when you're not wearing it, you gotta keep it in this special box. And I was like, why? Well, check it out. You open it up, it's got a whole interface display. And if I turn on this little light button here, I can display the lights. I'm not sure how well the camera can actually pick it up. But the cool thing is I can actually rotate the watches themselves on the inside just with a click of a button. And as you guys can see, the watches are gonna start spinning on their own. This is basically to keep the kinetic movement going in the Rolex watch. You don't need to self-wind the Rolex. Just kinetic energy will allow the watch itself to move, and that's what this special case essentially is. So we'll first, like I said, talk about the Rolex. This was a special gift that I not only got myself, but I got one for my dad. It is a plain Jane Submariner. It's actually from the late 90s, and I have the box and the, of course, the receipts, the documentation, everything to go along with. With it and I really want to show you guys like this is like a very old school box I think it looks super super sick open it up here it is wooden genuine Rolex so this is what a box looks like for it and then the front it's got this like soft padding on it and opening it it's all wood in the inside and it comes like this so that's the inside of a Rolex box if you guys have never seen one before it's an extremely quality box. Inside the box, I've got a couple other watches. This next one right here is a Gucci holographic print watch. What's very cool is that no matter how you look at it, the Gucci print kind of seems to move with the watch. It's all around the wristband and the face. So that's a really nice detail. The watch was about $1,000 for retail. I'm not sure if you could still get it in stores. I don't even know if it resells. I just got it because I really like the color and it's just a nice classy watch. In here right now, we have the Bulova watch. So this was my first ever, I guess, Yes big watch that I bought myself. It was like 600 bucks at the time in 2014. I was using my sneaker reselling money that I was getting from going to all the conventions, the shows, and my YouTube channel too was making a little bit of revenue. So I was able to get this and I just wore this thing literally until I got the Rolex. That's how much I love that watch. Then right here we have my Tag Heuer watch. This is a beautiful one. I got it as a gift for my dad for my birthday. And it's just a special one because Tag Heuer is another one of those, I guess, top of the line brands right before you start going into like Rolex and everything like that. I love the front. It's got a nice red face on it. I love how my watches contrast. I have a red, I have a blue, and then I have the white and black. So any kind of watch any day of the week. Now enough watch talk. Let's get into some of these pieces. This right here is my travel case. I use it for when I travel and I want to put a lot of my things in this case. Now I usually keep a lot of my stuff in my safety deposit box. Let's give it the big reveal. The case itself is made by Louis Vuitton and it comes with a couple different compartments like zippers and earring holders as well as a ring holder on the top. So let's go ahead and start with the rings first. This first one right here is a Gucci Lion Ring. I got this at the Gucci store a couple years ago when I was doing a lot of my Gucci shopping sprees. Nothing special about this. It's not even made of any real special alloy or metal that's going to make it of value. It's just a cool piece to me. I'm looking right now for a mark of like silver or something, but I, like I said, I don't even think it's silver. This right here is a very small 10 karat gold ring. I had it as a pinky ring for a really long time. Kind of just outgrown it. It's very plain, very basic. This is another ring. I used to wear this ring literally all the time. This is a baguette ring. So in the front on the top, there are baguette diamonds. I bought this ring a couple years ago and I wasn't really too keen on what the differences in diamond quality was. So these are only S1 diamonds. This is the only piece of S1 diamonds that I have in the collection. Diamonds are all about clarity and how much the diamond is worth is essentially how clear it is. A lot of my pieces are VS1 or VVS. Like this ring, for example, this is a VVS ring. 
This is my custom plus 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 ring. We did a whole unveiling of it. It was very exciting and I really love it. I got it custom made. It's of course the plus 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 logo. So you guys know that's like the signature branding for Blazendary. It's just a great message to always remind yourself to stay positive and that a positive mindset can really get you through a lot. So this is a dope ring. I'm probably gonna keep it on for the majority of the episode. And let's talk about right here. This is some custom jewelry. And not only is it custom and it's special cause it's also the plus 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 that you guys have been seeing, but this is also a product that we released on our website, blazenary.com. So I'm gonna put it on this camera right here. What's super special is that these are color shifting stones. So one way you look at it, it'll be clear. And a different way you look at it, all the stones will be black. And so that right there is a special patent. There's only one person in the world that does it and his name is Jacob. And I wanna say thank you to Jacob for reaching out and helping me create this custom design for my store. The second one we have, this is the purple plus plus plus. So the same kind of deal. The stones are colored stones and CZs. The actual chain and pendant itself are real 0.925 silver. So if you guys wanna cop this and add some silver to your collection, why not? The purple sold out, but the black is available on blazenary.com right now. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. And speaking of custom jewelry from Jacob, this is the last one right here. And I think this will really highlight to you guys what these stones actually do. So as you guys can see, it says my name, Blazenary. But if we turn it even the slightest, right? Check this out you guys are gonna see a completely different design altogether. So now as you guys can see, the designs are purple plus 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 stones. And I switch it back, make it say Blazendary, the stones, Blazendary, the stones. It's such a unique, interesting piece. And I gotta say, it was really done really well. And I just wanna thank Jacob once again for uh, doing this collab with me. Honestly, so, so cool, this technology. Now inside the Louis Vuitton little zipper pouches, I have some pieces that are very small. They're almost like pendants you'd put on a chain, like this one, for example. This is just an 18 karat, very thin chain. This is actually a Supreme chain, so if you bought a chain from the Supreme website, that's what you'd get. And the pendant that I got for this one is the Benjamin Franklin $100 bill. I haven't really worn it at all, and so some of the pieces that I like to put on that tiny little pendant are this one. So this is a gold little Aviani piece. They actually gifted this to me, my jewelers. This was a gold cross given to me by a family member when I was born. And this is actually my grandma's. This is a, supposedly it's a very lucky Italian symbol, but to me, it's just one of those. <laughs> and here's another one. This one was from my grandma as well. Also got some cufflinks in the collection. So these are some Gucci cufflinks. I really don't know when other than a jewelry collection I would show these cufflinks. So yeah, these are just my Gucci cufflinks. I was also talking about the earring holder as part of what the case can do. So on the front right there, you guys can see those last two little earrings. Those are my old little earrings that I used to wear all the time. My parents got me them for Christmas. My first pair of real diamond earrings actually. And then I very recently just upgraded and I got some new ones actually in a vlog very recently, literally only a week ago. These are just squares and these were circles. This is also gold on the back and this was just white gold. So a little bit different on these, just the square and the yellow gold in the back, but um, yeah, very casual, small earrings. This next one is a necklace that was given to me by my friend Eli for my birthday. Super plain, very nice looking gold necklace. And I wanna say thank you to Eli, miss you bro, hope to see you soon. Let's go into the next zipper pouch. This is some of the jewelry that I really like to wear on the day-to-day, -day, or I was wearing all the time on the day-to-day. -day. That right there is my Louis Vuitton bracelet. So this is just a super standard eclipse colored with very small little Louis details. I think it's very nice and super subtle. Usually when I wear that bracelet, I also wear this Louis link. So this is a silver Louis Vuitton link. And as you guys can see, same deal. It's got little Louis emblems on the links. And it's just a very nice little piece. I love to wear these two together, like I said. Together, they both cost about $1,000. This is a bracelet given to me by my grandparents before they passed away, so it's a super special sentimental bracelet. It's got gold and silver links, and I really, really like it. It's just a little too small for my wrist now. When I was buying Gucci all the time, I was really into their jewelry, and I think this is actually one of the only pieces of silver that they made. Uh, so this is just a silver Gucci ghost. And then on the back, it's got the little Gucci chains. Next up right here, we have a Gucci lion pendant. That is not real silver or anything. It's very similar to the lion ring that you guys saw a little bit earlier. And I got them as a matching set. I actually picked up the necklace though at a sneaker con from a booth. Shot to the fam over at Mark Supply. And then this is a cool one because this was when the spike bracelet was really becoming a popular trend and there weren't many people at all wearing this. I feel like I was still the first person to actually wear it because I was given that as the prototype and that's when Aviani made theirs. And then the real one, I do have the iced out version as well. One of my all time favorite pieces to wear the diamond spike 
bracelet. This is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Love the diamonds on top of it. And it makes it honestly very sharp. And the gold is just on the bracelet. So that's the silver one. And then this right here is the gold one. Another pendant right here. This is a lion diamond necklace pendant. I got this because I'm Leo the lion. And as you guys can see, it's diamond and gold on the pendant and it's on just a little gold rope chain. I think this is like a two millimeter gold rope, 10 carat, nothing too crazy there. I think it might have been one of my first pieces that I actually bought myself though. This is what I was talking about when I was saying I was buying a lot of gold ropes and I started collecting young. This was the last gold rope I had purchased. I started getting into some other jewelry at this point and so I wanted to have just a final nice gold rope. So I would take like the three millimeter rope, trade it to the four, add a little cash, trade it to the five, add a little cash, and now this is the six millimeter. So it's the biggest rope that I have. And my grandpa is actually wearing my other five millimeter that I let him have. So shout out to the Bilster. And speaking of the Bilster, this is a very special gift from the Bilster himself. So the Bilster is my grandpa, he's my mom's dad. And this right here is his bracelet that he's had since the early 90s. Gold back then was not even close to the cost it was now. So Bilster's got a lot of gold jewelry he's got. And this was one of those pieces that I would always eye on when I was a little kid. He literally has not taken this off in like the last 20 years. And when I was at dinner with him a couple months ago, he went ahead and told me he wanted to give this to me. And I just gotta say thank you to the Bilster. It's a really appreciated gift and I'm gonna wear it, like my mom would say, in good health. I gotta get it fixed because I, I really wanna make sure the clasp and everything is gonna be uh, well protected before wearing it out in public. Oh, I actually have a little correction. Earlier this episode, I said that I only have one piece of SI diamonds. Well, I have two. And that was actually when I bought the ring with the SI diamonds. So like I said, this is the SI diamond baguette ring, and this is the SI diamond little chain. It's just got little chips, all diamonds in it, S1 diamonds with a gold kind of wrap and rope around it. I used to wear this a lot, but it doesn't really fit with a lot of the pieces that I've been rocking. A lot of the stuff I've been wearing nowadays is like silver or white gold, like you guys see on the ring. And sometimes I'll bust it out when I am wearing some more gold than not. Now I'm sure you guys have been waiting for this, but these are the biggest pieces in my jewelry collection right here. And I wanna first talk about the Aviani Friends and Family Pendant. So this was specially gifted to me from the team at Aviani. They definitely blessed it and hooked it up by giving this to me because of course, it's got a ton of value on its own. And I love repping the brand. I really appreciate them taking in my chain all the time, fixing it, just doing the best work that they can. And so this right here is just a super commemorative piece. And I love to wear it when I get the opportunity to. The reason why I was gifted the Aviani pendant is because I stay loyal with Aviani. I kept using them as my jewelers and you guys can see it right here. This is the Cuban link that I got from them. It was in 2017, literally at this point, that was four years ago, which is really crazy to think, but it was 2017 in December. So it's about three years at this point. It's a beautiful VS1 choker. The gold on it is 10 carat. So it's not 14 carat or anything like that. I gotta be upfront with you, but I gotta say it's just impressive. It's super, just a, I, I mean, to me, I gotta brag a little bit. It's a baller piece. I absolutely love it. And what's so special is I haven't actually been able to wear the choker like this in a very long time. When I got this made, we had it cut from a massive king chain. And so that's why it fits the length that it does. And when I said, okay, I wanna get a pendant, I gave them this back and they added the pendant to it. And that is this right here. This is my blazonary pendant that I'm sure you guys have seen before, whether I'm wearing it in pictures or it's just on the YouTube videos. Uh, this is just like the most special piece that I have in the entire collection. Of course, because it's not only my name and it's the biggest thing I rep. This is a piece that I'm gonna have for a lifetime. It is one of the most special, like close hearted things that I have in my entire collection. Getting it made was such a huge accomplishment and owning a chain and wearing your own name is just something that I'm super proud of myself for all the hard work and editing and late nights, grinding, editing videos, making content, creating ideas, brainstorming, it's just, this process of being a YouTuber a lot of the times is overlooked by people and it is a continuous grind. Anybody that does YouTube definitely understands. And so this right here is to honor all the success that I've had on YouTube. And so as I was saying with the chain story, when I sent the chain in, the pendant was on the chain. Here's a little lesson if you don't know, this part of the chain is called the bail, B-A-L-E. And what's special about the bail is that it has to be a certain size for a chain to fit through it. So this monster of a Cuban link, when we had it made, it was put onto the chain and just sized that way. If I wanna wear the chain and the pendant, I can now slide the piece through the bail because the bail was made a little bit bigger. And so now, as you guys can see, this is what it looks like completed with the blazendary look. 
So there you guys go. So now that's the chain with the pendant and it's just so fresh. These right here are my diamond grills. Now I don't actually wear them really anymore at all. So what I might do is I might get the stones taken out and put into something custom. Yes, they're super cool, but honestly, just a little outdated for me at this point. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video because your support, like I said, really, really goes a long way. I'm working super hard this year to make sure that I'm uploading the most that I've ever posted on not only my YouTube, but my other social medias and other links down below in the description. So thank you guys for checking that out. And like I said, if you wanna enter in this video's giveaway, the only thing you have to do is leave a like, drop a comment down below. What was your favorite piece out of the whole collection? And I'll be selecting a random commenter in my upcoming videos. I love you guys. I really appreciate Appreciate you watching through, and I'll catch you all with another video this Sunday, turning a dollar into a thousand. It's your boy John Carlos signing out. Stay positive and peace out.